YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps, and it's a beautiful, warm winter day. Warm winter. That don't even sound right. Warm and winter don't even go together, but it does in my neck of the woods because our high, I think it's going to be a 72 today, and I, look, I stopped arguing with my God. It is what it is. It's going to be what it be. And I'm just going to enjoy this early spring that we have been experiencing throughout winter. Uh, yeah, a beautiful day in about an hour, maybe two hours. My husband and I, Lord willing, will be out there. Um, I'll be walking first and then do a nice jog. So it's a beautiful day to be outside. It's a beautiful day to celebrate Black History. I love Black History Month. And some of you caught my last video, which was yesterday. Um, but when you guys see this video, who knows? It could be yester week, yester year, yester decade. <laughs> but anyway, I shared a bundle, a um a whole lot of Ebony Jr. magazines. And I also did a flip through of two of the magazines. If I don't forget, you can click a thumbnail at the end of the video or perhaps look in the description box if you want to check out um, this video. And I'm using this one I've already, because I have a, a duplicate of this one, November 1977. I've already cut out some drums, African drums for a journal I'm working in. I'm going to sit this to the side because this video, I'm excited about it. Okay, I love Black history. I love to celebrate Black history. I do it in my own, my own way. But many of you know, if you've caught my Black History Month videos this month, I've been talking about my crash course studies in um, concerning different African American historical figures. I'm working in my Black History Journal, and I'm also working on a mixed media story quilt type hanging. I have that laid out on my other desk. So for me, Black History, it's about cultural revival for cultural survival. That's from yours truly. <laughs> that came to me on a walk the other day. And I thought I like that. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of reading. You guys, okay, let me share this. This is, it's not funny, but it's kind of funny to me. Okay, so I have two of these books I thrifted some time ago. And this one is African Kingdoms. So I have two of these. I grabbed one for the purposes of using some of the pages in my Black History journal. But let me tell you, I got to read in people. Yes, I did because I do love to read. I love to read my Bible. I And I don't read like I used to read. I read my Bible, but I used to be an avid novel reader. Of course, when I was in school, it was all about reading textbooks and encyclopedias. Well, people, let me tell you, I would consider this to be like an encyclopedia. Well, the last time I read one was in college many, 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 many times, 10 years ago, right? <laughs> well, I'm not that old. But anyway, I got to reading and I couldn't put it down. I was like, oh my goodness. So though I have two of these, I can't. I don't think I'm going to be able to tear pages out. People, I let me show you what I was reading. Um, I was reading a section when the Europeans first went over to Africa. And I was captivated. Of course, I, I knew this information, but to read it, like to read it in a reputable book we all have access to this information but anyway um oh this section right here i was reading this page and it talks about how and i know my video isn't about 
Okay, in this video, I will share a collection of vintage African-American, vintage sewing patterns with African-Americans on the front. Okay, that's what this video is about. This is like my little intro into the video because once again, I'm going through a cultural revival. And I just happen chance started to read this and it talks about, okay, because there's this idea and unfortunately, it's still perpetuated that, you know, about Black people, about Africa being the dark continent and this and that. Well, this information totally just dispels that whole notion. And it talks about where that idea came from. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Now, I knew that, but I didn't know it. But I did know it. But I didn't know it. Well, I know it again. It's in this book. So it talks about how the, the Europeans, when they arrived over there, of course we know they didn't know the African language. They didn't even really go inland, right? But when they, it, so they took reports back to Europe and other places of the world about Africa being savages. They embellished and they embellished even more for um, economic purposes, because of course, people want to read, they'll buy anything salacious, right? They'll buy it. So the Europeans started to perpetuate this idea that black people, their soul was just as dark as their skin color, and they were doing this and doing that. And it was not true. It was not true at all. And this whole idea of Africa now, when you think about it, you're scared to go. You think it's full of, you know, village people and uncivilized people. And the, no, that's just not the case. And this encyclopedia here talks about just how advanced the Africans were back then. So anyway, I cannot, though I have two of those books, I cannot tear in two either one of them, right? <laughs> so I will be reading more of that. I want to read the whole book. How about that? That may take some time, but that's my endeavor. Okay, now you guys, let me get to some of these patterns. This last year, I was not as organized. So some of these patterns I probably featured in one of two of my videos I did either last year or the year before. Every year I like to bring, um, well, I celebrate black history, a crafter's way, a junk journaler's way by sharing vintage African-American magazines, sewing patterns, rubber stamps, vintage and antique African-American paper dolls and greeting cards and all that. So um, some of these you've probably seen in prior videos. Now, I love the older ones. This one is, well, it's not vintage, but I have it here. This little girl is super cute. And look, the clothing, well, I love the sewing patterns because they tell a story. If you want to know what fabrics and prints were popular back in the year. Well, look at a look at a pattern. And so you get the actual fashion that was in style, but you get the patterns and the fabric as well. And I collect some types of fabric. I might even find some fabric that I have on a pattern. So, um I don't really care for the photographic designs but she is really pretty i'll definitely i'm going to keep them all but this is the type i truly i truly love the vintage ones and the more illustrative type ones and there's the little african-american girl there with her little with her natural with the bow in her hair love 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 it a lot of these i have gutted out but Look at the inside, um, I was going to say receipt or recipe paper, but the sewing paper, because sometimes you can find the same girls on the inside as well. Okay, I remember this little guy here. Love it when I find the African-American males and the boys. 
Look at his natural. So this one has some age to it. So this one don't belong because there's no African Americans featured here or here <laughs> or here. Okay, so I grabbed a stack. All right. Okay, let's look at this one. Now, I don't know if she's African American, but I love the Annie designs. There are African Americans within the Annie design. So actually, I'm looking at her. She might very well be African American. And then take a look at this one. Oh, I love the fro. Love the fro. And I did not gut this one. Let's see. And I got to be careful. Oh, you guys too. I got some special patterns to share at the end of the video. One special one in particular. Oh, I don't want to. Okay, I'm not going to take it out because I don't want to rip, rip it. But I got several special ones to share, including a couple that came from a viewer, I believe, last year. And then, oh my goodness, I got a rare one and it's so special to me. And then I got one that's really old that might be offensive, but I'm going to share that one um, anyway. Okay, so moving right along here. As you can see, I did not go through these and pull out the ones um, that aren't African American, but take a look at this one. A dollar was the price, so that has age to it. And here is the African American. Now, these patterns could be used in a number of different ways. You can make journals with the actual pockets. You could use the pockets as a pocket in your journal. Of course, you can cut these out to make paper dolls. I like to um, recycle the tissue inside and wrap Happy Mail in it. You could also use the tissue in a journal, glue it down. So there's many different ways you can upcycle and recycle these patterns. Okay, here's the African-American here. And look at that dress. I love that dress. So that has age to it. A lot of these do have dates on it, but then a lot don't. But you can kind of get an idea of the age by the original price. So this one here is photographic. You see an African-American girl and boy. And take a look at this one. Here's the African-American here. I love this dress. So what's the original price? $8. This was probably, oh, I don't have my guide with me. So let me not guess. She's African-American here. And then she's not. Okay, so set that right there. And then this one here, here's the African-American. And then I think I shared this one or I, I shared another pattern with Diane Carroll on it. <laughs> so yes, this is Diane Carroll. Diane Carroll, if memory serves me correct, was the first African-American, period, to have her own show. I've seen a lot of her the last week or so because I have watched Eve's Bayou, e Eve's Bayou or Bayou <laughs> over and over and over and over again, probably the last week and a half. I saw it last night again, went to sleep watching it again. <laughs> and she plays in that movie. Excellent movie. Oh, and she's ripping. I'm going to have to put some glue, maybe... You know what? I'm going to do it right now. Why not? Let's take this up to stop it from tearing more. Okay, and I'll put some at the top as well. Just like this. Just like that. Alrighty, and then take a look at her. I love the different poses too. Original price, $2. Okay, did you guys see that one? If you did, I'm going to edit that out because I'm going to share this one last. <laughs> love, love, love it. Okay, and then this one here. Here's the little black girl. Love the spring clothing. And then this one here. Oh, I just love these. And this one here. 
Now, I got into, well, I had been collecting patterns for a while, but it wasn't until maybe four or five years ago when something really hit me. And what hit me was the realization, or perhaps it was earlier than that, but I think I went to create something and got really frustrated because I I didn't have much in my arsenal of things I have in my craft room out in my dirty, dingy, dusty garage. I didn't have much that was reflective of me as an African-American. And so that's when I really, I came across in here, of course, look at that hair. Oh, beautiful. Um, one thing led to another. And then I discovered that um, I had some sewing patterns that had African, beautiful images of African Americans on it. And so that got me into collecting sewing patterns. And now I do love a wide assortment of different ones. Like I love the children. I love the ones from the 70s. And of course, the ones that are from the 50s. Love those. And I have a whole lot, but I'm really into the ones, and none of these have African Americans on it. It's hard to find one with Asians. So when I come across those, I definitely pick those up. So I just grabbed a whole bundle. Alrighty. And these don't have African Americans. But anyway, um, it's become a thing for me now. I get mines from thrift stores, though I've cut back. The last year, I've cut back buying. I pretty much now only get the ones with African Americans on it because I have so many. But I primarily get mines from thrift stores. If I go to a yard sale or an estate sale, I'll pick them up from there. The antique stores are way too high. And I don't buy, I purchased only one online. And you'll see that one. That's going to be the last one. There's two African Americans here. So the last one I shared will be the one I purchased online. And look at this beautiful girl here. Oh, I love this. This is different. I love the illustrations there. Yes, I think I shared this one before. Yep, I love this girl. Now, she's not illustrated, but I I don't have many pictures growing up. And I, this could be me, about 10 years old, on the phone, right? <laughs> and boy, if I could find her illustrated too. Okay, this right here is one of the instructional sheets. And that's an African-American woman right there. Perhaps we'll come across the actual pocket. Alrighty, let's see here. Oh, her, love her. I think I've shared this before. So perhaps from this bundle, I've shared these. But it's okay because in one of my prior videos from prior years, I was not within frame. So hopefully, let me stand up. Yeah, I think I'm pretty good right now. Okay, and she's African American here. And I remember, <laughs> I remember, I think I've shared this one. Look, I just love it. <laughs> and this cute girl here. Okay, and this woman here. So love the different poses, hairstyles. So love the different poses and different hairstyles. Look at her hairstyle there. And got some tennis clothes. A Vogue here. And then her. Oh, and love, love, love this one. Look at her. Look at that. Love, love, love it. Her here. And this woman here. Okay, and two girls, 
or boy, this is a boy, and her too. These two. All right. Okay, and then this woman here. And I love the ones that have writing on it. Now, I could never use a sewing pattern in sewing. And her here. I could never, ever, ever. It's too complicated for me. But I love to find the writing on it. I love to watch someone in action, in person, make a outfit from a pattern. Okay, and then her here. Now, these are Vogue larger pockets and then this model here okay let me get these to the side put those right there and what are these oh okay another thing that i collect when i can is vintage newspaper i love the 70s and 80s and i found a boatload from my own hometown this could be part of that. Okay, let's take a look at these. See, it looks familiar to me, but I don't know if I shared it. So that's not, this is photographic, but it's still, I still like it. Oh, and look at this one. Oh, look, I'm just now seeing him. You have an African-American man and woman but I don't have the inside so once again I gutted a lot of these and I threw a lot of it out so I kept the ones that have the african-american people on it okay I know I I've, I've seen this many times so this could be an actress and I think I've shared this one here this black girl here and then this one and then that one I need to take that one up so do you guys collect patterns I know it's real popular to collect the vintage ones I don't really buy them anymore um and I don't, to be honest, because I have so many, I can see a bundle at a thrift store and not even look through it. I need to look through it, though, because there are some I see online. But I love the whole um, idea. I love the, the hunt. I love the excitement and the surprise when I come across one that I've never seen before, especially the ones with the afro. So I think I've shared her before. Excellent condition. And look at that pose. Love the yellow. One of my fave colors. Okay. And then this model here. Oh, her too. She's African American. I have her in other designs. So you have one that's illustrated and one that's photographic. Love that. And then I just love this girl here. Look at that hair. Love it. It's something about the illustrated ones that I love. They make the cutest paper dolls. Okay, so let's get this to the side. And you guys, I have even more than this. I'm not organized. So um I haven't went through everything. Did I share these two? Okay, I don't know if I shared these. Did I? Take a look, you guys. Look at the fro. And look at that yellow. <laughs> the fro, yellow. That rhymes. Hey, I'm a poet. Okay, and yes, she's a model. Is her name Beverly Johnson? I believe she's still around, too. And then, did I share this? I don't remember, you guys. This guy here. <laughs> Regular price, two bucks. So that goes back. Okay, let's share. I'm almost done, but I might do a, another segment because I have a lot of sewing patterns still. And I think I have some I need to go through. Okay, 
African American here, Butterick design, and then her here, and then her pajamas. Oh, and then look at here. Now, there are some I saw online of what do you call it? Um, it just escapes me. It's an Afri a African, um, is it daishiki? I have to turn my heater off. A daishiki? I love to come across those. But once again, I've only purchased one sewing pattern online. It was actually a bundle of three. But I bought it for the one. And you guys stick around because, oh my goodness, I'm going to share that one last. But I love this one. Look. This is pretty. Okay, and then her here. And look at the gingham. Yes, love. <laughs> love, love, love. Okay, and then her here. I hope jumpsuits make a comeback. I still have some up in my closet. Pajamas here. And look at her short do. Love that. Her here, the one hour dress. See, this looks simple to make. And I would wear this today. I love this. What year? Let's see how much. Eleven fifty. So that's not too old. 1998. Wow. Wow, that was a long time ago. But I love that. That's easy, easy wear. The little black boy here. Look at his hair. So cute. Oh, got two. Two of these. Oh, look. Another African one. All right. Let's see. Is there a date? $19. So, and I don't see a 2011. Wow. This was expensive back then. Wow. Okay, let's grab the other one. What year was this one? $15. And this was 2003. Okay. And her hair. Love her skin tone. Ooh, and her hair. Love, love, love it. And then you have her hair. And her. Is she African-American? With my lighting, it's hard to see. Oh, I don't think I've seen those. Okay, you guys. I'm getting down to the wire. Gotta make sure. Okay, did I share these? I have different stacks down here. Getting close. And I do have to... Um, I do have to bring a container down. Because it has... I guess I'll share that one next to last. Okay. Take a look at this one. This one right here excites me. I wish I put a note in where I got this from. But take a look, you guys. I love it. Okay. One thing I so endeavor to make is aprons. I do have several different vintage patterns. And I do collect aprons. Um... Yeah, I want to learn how to make aprons. And look at this African-American woman. What I'm going to do is scan her and make a copy of her and use her in, in a journal. Because I don't have many pictures of my mom either, my mom or my dad. Just not many at all. Definitely don't have any in the kitchen, right? How I wish. Well, I don't think my mom wore aprons. I don't even recall my grandmother who passed away last year wearing aprons. Oh, and I do have some pictures of me wearing my Christmas apron, but I got to do a better job at wearing my aprons and making sure I get pictures in those. But love, love, love this one. Regular price, $3. So this one got some age to it. 
going to put it back in the pack of Jean. I love that. And I don't know. Um, okay, this. I guess these came. And these plastic sheets. But the little black boy there. No, let's take him out because there might be a glare. Oh, love, love, love it. Oh, I just love looking at these. Little black boy with the balloons. That would be cute on a um a greeting card. Love it. And you know what? Let's see. Let's see if. Oh, look it. Ah! <laughs> this is him. The weird thing is, though, sometimes the people you see on the inside pattern are not the same people on the pocket. <laughs> on the envelope but then the rare on a rare occasion you find this the same people and this little oh i just love it little black boy is there yay 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 and you guys too um if you collect the the patterns be on the lookout for the different color of tissue i've come across pink blue and another color which is most rare okay let's put this back in the pocket and then okay i'll go ahead and share this one here and i where did i get this from i've never opened this up so let's open it up so there's no glare now in my black history series for this month my next video oh I don't know what it's going to be probably a rubber stamp haul yeah okay now this one here makes these dolls but take a look at this beautiful black doll and the sun is peeking through and I'm not going to open up the tissue but even this this green is a different color hmm okay I'll have to make note of that so I do collect the ones with black dolls I'll put that back in a second okay now these here came wow did I date this correctly we're in the year of 2022, right? Okay, I put down... Okay, these came from Julie. But I wrote down 1221. That was just in December a couple months ago. I believe this should have said 1220. So thank you, Julie. Julie... Oh, and I shared this one, you guys. Ah! Julie sent me, and it came late, so this was not in, this was, I think, in December 2020. I believe she sent it maybe spring of 2020, but I didn't get it until 2021, and that was due to COVID and all the mail delays, but Julie, one of my viewers, she sent me these beautiful patterns and yes they have african americans on them and yes this is another kitchen baking theme and i love it ah! <laughs> thank you julie look at this you guys look at this isn't this precious and it's apron oh my goodness two two black people i love this <laughs> thank you julie oh okay um, it didn't come with, oh, hold on. This might be it. Let's see if, okay, so it don't have the girls on it, but you do have to look inside all of it because sometimes there's pictures well, you have to open the whole thing up. Julie, thank you so very much. And look at the apron, you guys. I did some more baking last night. Yes, I did. As a matter of fact, 
my KitchenAid is on my counter. I normally keep it in the pantry, but it's been out for the last four or five days. Download your free matching paper doll. Oh, you might not be able to do that. This comes from 2004, the same year I started crafting. Ah, thank you, Julie. And then look at this one, you guys. Look at this. This is so cute. And look at this one says too. download your free paper dolls. I'm going to look for those because once again, I collect paper dolls, the vintage ones. And these are vintage now. Oh, this is so fun. Oh, thank you, Julie. And then she sent this one here. Photographic design. And then there's this one. Oh, she has on gingham. Love that hair. Julie, thank you so very much for thinking about me. And this is just so special. I don't have any of these. And definitely, I know the two, the two top ones, I've never seen those before. <laughs> so thank you, thank you, and thank you. Okay, I'm going to take a quick pause. Because we are down to my last Okay, so this two. next one, I have two to share. I have the one I'm most excited about and the only one I purchased online. And then I have this one. Now, this one might be offensive to some. I'm going to share it, though, so we can converse. And here it is. It's this pattern here. And it looks quite old. It's fragile. I'm going to carefully take out. And it's only the top. Oh, it's so fragile. It's only the top of the envelope. And you can see originally 15 cents. So I do not recall what year did I write it on the back? I don't know what year, but let me come up because there is, the sun is peeking through it. Once again, it's a beautiful day outside. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see it here. If I bring it up, the sun might obscure it. But looking at the dolls, they're cute looking at them. However, I don't know what the intentions of the artist was. You see the name Piccaninny? That's what little black, that's how little black children were referred. They were referred to as Piccaninny, which in and of itself is derogatory and offensive. So this was manufactured. It was designed back well, Piccaninny has its roots in slavery and the slave trade. So it's kind of hard to tell. Looking at it, in my day and age, I don't see anything wrong with it. But because I know when it was created and I know how black people were treated back then, I don't know you guys about this one. Nonetheless, it is a pattern. It is old. And um, I'm looking at it and it looks like the person that owned this probably drew in the eyes and the teeth. So they added to it. I've seen, you know what? Perhaps I should share this right now. To kind of give you an idea, or maybe I shouldn't, I shouldn't wait to share it in another video, but, um, okay. All right. I'll just do this. Now this is offensive too, but many of you, if you didn't live during this time, your parents did, your grandparents lived during a time when black kids were called pick a ninny. Take a look at this. This right here, I mean, without doubt, it's derogatory. 
it's an exaggeration of lips and red lips. You know, black kids didn't look like this. This was actually, this is vintage. Um, it's a milk. Nose dairy, patcherized chocolate milk advertisement. It's a fan. This was actually used back in the year, right? Clearly derogatory. When I look at this, I don't see that this is clearly derogatory. Not to say it's not, I just don't see it. Now compare it to this one. A beautiful black girl, right? Now she does have the red lips. To me, that's very unnecessary. But looking at her, oh, look at the back. Mabel's Wash. Selma, Alabama. But outside of the red lips and outside of what she's doing, of course, washing, that in and of itself is also derogatory <laughs> because it's perpetuating an idea of black people being, you know, slaves and doing the meager type work. But anyway, you see, you see a, a vast contrast between the two. This one here. So I don't know. What do you guys think? The name though, Piccaninny. Very, very offensive. But these are cute to me. These are cute to me. So I don't know. All right. I'm going to gently put this one to the side. I'm going to put these back. And you know, I have more of these fans. Perhaps I'll share them in another, another video. But you guys, I have to share this last pattern that I am most excited about. Oh my goodness! Ah! And the only one that I have ever purchased. If I did purchase another one online, I don't remember. This one I clearly remember, and I got it not too long ago, within the last perhaps six months. And oh my goodness, you guys, this is the back of it. This is the back of it. Ah! <laughs> There's another one that I am on the hunt for. And if I see it online at a decent price, I will pick it up. I don't think I've opened the inside up. So let's open the inside. Nope. Well, let's open this up to see. I'm going to scream. Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. Why is this lady here? She's not on the front cover, y'all. Okay, so perhaps the woman or the girl, I should say, that's on the front cover, she's not, darn it. See, how come they just couldn't put the face of the, of the person on the front cover here? What does she got to do with this pattern? Absolutely nothing. Are you guys ready to see? Oh, my, 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 you guys. And I got this from an Etsy seller. I left a review. The Etsy seller, she didn't know what she got rid of. And I got it for a steal. Three in a pack. I think for maybe 15 bucks shipped, if that. And I got three different patterns. But I bought the bundle for this one here. Are you guys ready to see? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to ease it in the, the camera. You guys. You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, now some of you are wondering, Felicia, why are you so excited? Why are you so excited? But some of you recognize who this is. Ah! <laughs> some of you recognize who this is. Some of you, well, let me help you out. And I. We'll always love you. I... Okay, some of you recognize this, but some of you need help. Let me help some of y'all out who don't recognize this. And I... Whitney Houston. 
when she, before she became famous, she was modeling. I think she may have been about 16, 17 years, no, maybe younger. No, I think about 16, you guys. Ah, so this was her before she was famous. She was probably in the studio making her debut album, but this is a young Whitney Houston. So there's another one of her, at least one other one of her that I know about. And I, yes, I'm on the hunt for it. But this is in pristine condition. And I was so happy. The seller did not know this was Whitney Houston because she would have definitely sold this one by itself and for much more money. All right, you guys, so that's going to do it for this video. Now, I do have a lot of other patterns I have to sift and sort through. Perhaps, Lord willing, next year. And I still do collect these, though not as much. Um, but I am going to start to at least look through the ones in the thrift store. I come by and not, not get guys, lazy. I am back. It's about five, six days later. And look what I got in the mail just last night. Okay, and the sun is coming through. I know there's shadows. But this is that other Whitney Houston um, pattern that I told you guys I was on the hunt for. I lucked out. Okay, I did not search. I did search Whitney Houston sewing patterns. But let me offer you guys a tip. When you search by her name, the patterns that come up are going to be more expensive because the sellers knows who she is. If you're searching for any particular pattern, try to use generic search terms. So I searched for backpack sewing patterns and I got this for $9 shipped on eBay. The seller did not know this was Whitney Houston. <laughs> so he did not or she did not tag it as Whitney Houston because the seller could have gotten a whole lot more, but this is my pattern. Now, if you're wondering why I'm so in love with these patterns, in particular Whitney Houston, because she was my favorite all-time singer. She came out in 85. When she came out, I knew I had a voice because I started to sing. And everyone who knew me, and to this day, they know me as singing all the time and Whitney Houston. And then Mariah Carey came out five years later. And of course, she became my other favorite. But Whitney was first. She's near and dear to me. And to have this pattern, um, which was produced in 1982, before she became famous. I just love it. I feel like I have a special part of history. And I'm able to incorporate this in my crafting. <laughs> So with that being said, you guys, this video is going to conclude my series for Black History Month this year. Lord willing, I'll be back. The last four or five years, I've brought you all um, different videos sharing the way I celebrate Black history with vintage sewing patterns, vintage African-American rubber stamps, um, the, the vintage and antique paper dolls and the magazines. And I will bring another video because I have some more African-American things to share, but this video will conclude the series for this month. I'm still working on my African-American or my black history journal featuring several um, historical African-American female figures along with the letters I'm writing to them. I'm also still working on a special mixed media wall hanging quilt type piece. So I'll be back to share those items with you, including another video because I have more rubber stamps to share and little bits of this and this to share. To share with you all. So with that being said, if you like this video, if you have enjoyed this series, why not give me two big thumbs up? Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to hit that notification bell. Feel free to share your comments below as Black History Month come to a close. My book did come in last night. I've talked about this book. I will share more information in upcoming videos. I look forward to getting started to this today, you guys. 
fabulous. Oh my goodness. You, you all need this book. So stay tuned for more information about that. With that being said, I do want to thank you all for joining me. As always, blessings and Black History. Blessings!